Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. Very good afternoon to you wherever you are around the globe, on the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, in Canada, Australia, UAE, Saudi Arabia, or right here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Tripisa. Ladies and gentlemen, you are highly welcome to this hot afternoon, Friday edition. Thank God it's Friday! Yes, yes, yes. Chelsea fans around the globe, enjoy yourself. Have all the fun you deserve. You deserve it. You deserve it. When your team is winning, you deserve to celebrate it. Dear friend, I know our neighbors, our neighbors, our London neighbors, Tottenham and uh, Arsenal, they'll be looking at us with uh, one style of eye because it's not going well for them. In the Europa League and in the Champions, it's not going so well for them. Oh, that reminds me, Manchester United fans. Hello, United fans. Are they there? <laughs> My dear friends, United fans, are they there? Ah, oh, my goodness, Fenabachi, Jose Moreno Fenabachi. Well, it ended for Manchester United 1 1 with Fenabachi. Yeah, yeah, it ended. They, are just, they were just lucky that the goalkeeper, Onana, was up to the tax. He was up to the tax. And Jose ended up receiving a, a red card. Well, but quickly, Chelsea, watching the game, watching Chelsea versus Panathinaikos, watching the game, dear friends, and through it, I was just thinking, how are Chelsea even in the Conference League? How? How are Chelsea even in the Conference League? I mean, even just the, the Team B, Chelsea's Team B alone, they, they are quite clearly too good. Chelsea's Team B is quite clearly too good for this tournament. We are too good for Conference League, dear friends. I'm telling the truth. The gap in quality between the two teams I mean, the gap in quality between the two teams. I mean, the second best team in the tournament so far. The second best team that, that we face so far in the tournament, that's Panathinaikos. The gap between Chelsea and Panathinaikos is just, it, it is monumental. It is monumental. And the formation we deploy, we, have, we, we deployed against Panathinaikos, 3-3-4 three, three, formation in build a shape. 3-3-4 three, three, build a shape with Enzo Fernandez being able to dictate from deep. My God, Enzo Fernandez being able to dictate the game from deep as the metronome. Dear friend, it is amazing. Forget the Conference League. Forget it. Right now, most teams in the Conference League right now will not want to meet Chelsea. Most teams in this Conference League right now will not want to meet Chelsea. I am telling you the truth. I am just telling you the truth. Mikhailo Moedric and Kukrela played full 90 minutes. It's surprising, right? Oh yes, because even the head, our head coach was enjoying watching them. <laughs> I was, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching them as well. Mikhailo Moedric and Kukrela playing the full 90 minutes. I, you, are, you are surprised. I am equally surprised. Sancho likely to get the go ahead on Sunday. On Sunday, ahead of Moedric. But he needs to be very careful. Yes. And because maybe, maybe Maresca might even still stick with Malogusto as well. Israel Kukurela. Malogusto rejects as the full backs. Israel Kukurela. But you see. Yes, I, I, I remember, I think Moedric even at the final whistle, there was, I think he was banded with ice, ice on his knees. I just hope it's not that serious because I would love to see him against Newcastle. I would love to see him, even though I believe the coach would like consistency. Yes, would like the, the players to be consistent. So I know he's likely to use Sancho. But if Moedric is given the opportunity again, I believe that he will deliver. I believe Moedric will equally deliver. You see, dear friends, in the, this game against Panathinaikos, I'm beginning to think that Chelsea players are actually enjoying playing in this Conference League as well. They are enjoying playing the Conference League as if they don't really care whether it's a Conference League or it's a Champions League or it's a Europa League. They are just doing their job. Every player, they are happy to be part of the squad. No complaint from anyone. You don't see them like angry. Why am I in the conference? Why I'm not playing the Premier League. I will not give my best. No, 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 no. They are giving their best 
enjoying the conference league very well. They don't look like they see it as, oh, we are in the team B. No, 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 no. They look like they are trying to impress that sort of atmosphere that Mareska has got in the team, in the squad. I mean, it's amazing. It is amazing. We need to give credit where it is due. For me, I'm happy to see this current squad, both the team A and team B, doing amazingly well. We watched the team A play against Liverpool, and we saw the work rate. We lost that game, but we all agreed also that we played the game to the best that we can. If not for the errors in defense, we would have lost that game. Yes. You see, a reporter, after the game, asked our head coach, he said, Chelsea are not a team of the Conference League, but a Champions League team. This is what a reporter told our head coach. Chelsea are not a team of the Conference League, but a Champions League team. And listen to the answer Enzo Moresca gave him. He said, can I ask you a question too? Enzo Moresca, as a reporter, can I ask a question to you? If we are a Champions League club, then why are we playing Conference League? <laughs> hey, if we are a Champions League club, then why are we playing in a Conference League? <laughs> and he continued. Chelsea are in a Conference League because this is where we deserve to be right now. Two years back, he said, he said two years back, we were in a Champions League because we deserve to be in a Champions League. Right now, where we are is where we deserve to be. And so I want to believe, personally, this cup, if Chelsea is able to lift this trophy, it means that Chelsea has lifted almost every trophy that there is to be in a club, in a, in a cl club football. Mareska, since day one, we are trying to help Misha. That's Mikhail Moedric. Probably for him, he is one of the guys that the learning process is more slow compared to the rest, but he's improving. I'm sure that slowly, slowly, we will have Misha scoring more goals and being important for us. Speaking about Mikhail Moedric, he was answering questions after the game regarding Mikhail Moedric. He played 90 minutes. And the coach had to explain that Michaelo is one of the players, Misha is one of the players that need more time. Their development is slow. But slowly, but slowly, he will begin to pick up form. And he's an important player. He'll be an important player for Chelsea. And that is what I'm also seeing. Many have suggested that Michael Modric might be loaned out in January or might be sold. No, I don't think so. He has a relationship with the coach. And I believe the coach knows exactly what to do with Michael Moedric. Last night game, we saw him delivered. Two assists and a goal, meaning that he was involved in three of Chelsea's four goals that were scored. What else do you expect from Michael Moedric? He has done his job. He has done his job. Dear friends, well, Jao Felix, Michael Moedric, Christopher Nkuku, they, were, they all recorded goals for Chelsea. Jao Felix scored two goals. Moedric won, Christopher Nkuku won, making all together four goals. Chelsea go top of the UEFA Conference League table. Top of the Europa Conference League table with a comprehensive 4-1 win at home. A, a, away. Away at Panathinaikos. Yes. Away. So we are on top of the league table right now as we speak as we speak. Our next four games in the Conference League, Chelsea's next four games in the Conference League are as follows. Chelsea versus FC Noah in, in Stamford Bridge. FC Noah, yes, in St Stamford Bridge. After that, we'll go to away. We'll play FC hand in hand. FC hand in hand. That's an away game. The next one will be FC Astana. Away. Then we'll come back to FC FC Sam, Samrock, Samrock Rovers, home, Samrock Rovers. Those are the four teams. You know, let us not be complacent. This team, some of those, these names, we, are, we might not even heard it before. It's the first time we are hearing those names. And I believe that these are all three points for Chelsea to take. What do you think? Even though we need to be skeptical, we need to be very careful. Some of these teams can really cause you problems. But 
with the strength of Chelsea and what we have we've seen so far, what we've seen so far, I believe that all these four teams, all these four teams, Chelsea should be able to brush them aside and go in for the gold. What do you think? Let me hear from you in the comment section. Dear friend, Chelsea 4, Panacos 0. Chelsea 4, Panacos 0. Well, quickly, before I let you go this morning, let me state again clearly. Fanabachi versus Manchester United, it ended 1-1. It ended 1-1. Three points in three Europa League games for Manchester United. Three points in three games instead of nine points or five points or six points or seven points based on three points in three Europa League games for Manchester United three points out of nine five goals scored and five conceded five minus five zero they have nothing there again <laughs> one win in the last 11 European days for Manchester United just one one win in the last 11 games for Manchester United in European competition. One win in the last seven games in all competitions this season. One win, just one win in the last seven games in all competitions for Manchester United. Why? I mean, United, everything hard. No, 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 Manchester United scored an early goal and then Fenerbahce came up strongly in the second half and got a, their first goal to equalize. To equalize in the second half. It ended 1-1. United. Ah. Well, quickly, before I let you guys go. Before I let you guys go. You see, tomorrow is Saturday. Sunday afternoon, Chelsea, Newcastle. And the players will be back. Our preparation will start in earnest for our game against Newcastle. It is an important game. It is an important game for Chelsea. And I want to believe that our coach already have plan. And it is our team B, team A. But I would love to see Michael Krella and I would love to see Moedrick at least on the bench coming on in the second half. Yes, I would love to see even 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 Enzo Fernandez. I would love to see him on the bench so that in the second half he can replace one of Casado or Lavia. Let me see whether he can still deliver in that position as he did against Panathinaikos. He controlled the game so much said that look, I was impressed. 11 changes every midweek game, but still, we drop great performances like this. It's very insane. And I believe that this squad can go far. Modric is really knocking on the door for a start in the Premier League. Let me just put it that way. Modric is knocking on the door for a start in the Premier League. Enzo Mareka stated very clearly, I'm very happy to see Modric there in that position and scoring that goal. This is what I heard quite said about Michael Modric. I'm very happy to see Modric there in that position and scoring that goal. Michaelo is learning. Michaelo's learning process is more slow compared to the other wingers, but he is improving. He is improving. Dear friend, as you can see on your screen, that is his statistics. Michaelo Modric's stat statistics there. Now, Mareska playing Gusto. Okay, let me start it from here. I think, I think that Malogusto and Mekukrela, Malogusto and Mekukrela, they will have to fight for their position from this moment. Yes, Gusto and Kukrela, they will have to fight from, for their position from this moment. Because remember, Rhys James is back for the right back, and Malogusto is also there. Mekukrela is also playing on the left flank, and you see, these players, they are too good. So it is difficult for you even to make a choice. <laughs> hey, my dear friend. Well, Chelsea, it ended a win for us in the Conference League. I will soon be leaving you, but I just want to end by saying that Chelsea, we don't have to be complacent in our games. 
We need to move on and win every game that comes on our way. Yeah, quickly, let me give you my shout out. Let me give you some shout out and now out, out of this place. Out, out of this place. On Renato Viega. Did you watch Renato Viega in the game? What do you think about his play? Even our head coach, observe carefully. Renato Viega. This guy can play multiple positions. Listen to what the coach said. I just said to him inside the changing room during the halftime. He has played as a center back, as a full back, holding midfielder, attacking midfielder. I said the reason why the the reason why I love Chelsea is because many players can be versatile. It is better for the team and for the players. Today, if you just play one position, I don't think it's enough. You need to learn to play more positions. And Renato Viega played four different positions so far for Chelsea. As a full center back, full back, holding midfielder and attacking midfielder. What a player the Renato Viega is. Chelsea indeed signed a gem. You remember we wanted to sign Calafiore. The Arsenal ended up signing. So we have to go in for Viega who replaced uh, Calafiore from FC Basel. Some of us, we never thought Renato Viega would turn this good. But the guy is really on top. He is on top. Well, I have said a lot about Moed Moedric. Quickly, some big shout out and I'll let you go for your lunch. Very good afternoon to wherever you are. This is my post-match reaction part two and all that the coach has to say later or tomorrow we will be talking more on Newcastle game. We will also analyze the game very well. We have not given the we have not analyzed the game yet. We we'll have to spend time to analyze the game tactically. From tactical point of view, we'll be doing that later. But quickly, some big shout outs. This is coming from David Obi. He said, You go wicked when you hold for this last one. I don't really get it. You go wicked when you hold for this last one. <laughs> My dear friend David Obi, please come again. Let me understand you clearly. I go wicked how? Please come back again and explain for us. Let's get you clearly. Anyway, big shout out to you, David Obi. Yeah. Uh, David Wanderson says, When Raheem was leaving, some Chelsea fans did not agree. Now we can see Enzo has chosen his team. Let it be. David from Ghana. It is true. But I was really in favor of it. I wanted Raheem to go a long time. So I was very, very happy. Yes, now we are seeing it. Big shout out to you, David from GH. David from Ghana, big shout out to you. Odunayo says, Dear Mr. Salon, good morning to you. My name is Odunayo Ojo from Lagos, Nigeria. Well, resting some key players for weekend league game is not a bad idea. But the decisiveness and ruthlessness in front of goal, as well as seriousness on the field of play, is what is paramount. And we've seen it there, we've seen that from this team. Even though we didn't try with the full squad, we still, we, we still won it massively. So just as you said, yeah. You see, some players need to be talked to because of the way they play on the pitch. Case in point, Madweke and Sancho most especially. On Maraska's decision to use Nkuku as additional man up front, it is not a bad decision also, but a set player should be played to his ability. Nkuku, we know, is better on the field of play when he plays as a supporting striker or as number 10, not as a wide as he did against Liverpool last Sunday. Yeah, I did explain this aspect also, my dear friend, that the, the, the thought I can read through the mind of Mareska, he only wants an, an added player in that area, in the attacking area, in the final 10. That is why he brought in in Kuku, and the only area, you know, because if you look at the full carefully, what he did, in Kuku also nearly got a goal from that angle. Yes, all that he did was an addition, he wanted more men in that area, that is why he added in Kuku to it. He didn't add in Kuku to come and play the, as a web, uh, I mean, left winger, no, 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 no. Anyway, big shout out to you, Odunayo Ojo from Lagos, Nigeria, big, big shout out to you. Uh, this one says, good morning, Mr. Sello. I'm so happy you've given us details. I love what you are doing. Keep it up. 
I'm Scott from River State, Nigeria. Scott from River State, Nigeria. Thank you so much. I'm happy. I'm glad you are enjoying the program. Big shout out to you out there. Share the video, like the video, and let me hear from you in the comments section. The last two. Bami Bande Fridayo says, Fourth is temporary, but class is permanent. Give us Osimen and a striker. Striking problem is over. Osimen alone is a threat to defenders. I think it, this is an old message, right? Anyway, big shout out to you, Fridayo. Big, big shout out to you. Uh, Hechuku says, Mr. Salon Blood, thank you for the, that analysis concerning about Chelsea wingers. They need to improve in crossing the ball. If not, believe me, even though Chelsea buy a world class striker, he will still struggle, and that is why strikers, stri strikers struggle because they have to do more work playing from the midfield as Jackson does, and that is why Jackson sometimes misses his chances when he has been exhausted his strength, when he has exhausted his strength, and it makes him to lose balance on the ball. Very good point. Jackson goes to the midfield to help the midfielders carry the ball from the midfield. By the time he gets to the shooting area, he has already exhausted his strength, and therefore he, he loses his balance in shooting. That's a very good point, my dear friend. Now, when he... Okay, my name is Oechuku, watching from the land of the rising sun, United States of Biafra. That will be declared on 2nd December in Finland. Thank you and God bless you. Keep up the good work. Big shout out to you, my brother Oechuku, watching from the land of the rising sun. Guys, I'll see you all in the next one where you see me. Shalom and peace.